In the rugged mountains of Mindanao lie hundreds of small villages inhabited by different tribal groups. Over the past two decades, the South Philippine Union Conference, in partnership with Mountain View College, has been sending missionaries to reach the people of the mountains with the gospel. It all started in 1969 when two students from Mountain View College went to serve the Minobo tribe. But since that time, hundreds of student missionaries and volunteers have gone to share God's love with these unreached people groups. The missionaries are called Sulads, which means brother. And year by year, the missionaries become brothers and sisters to the people of the villages. As the missionaries experience daily life, live with the people, and share their hearts, the people become open to the gospel. The people in the mountains live simply, many times raising green vegetables and root crops that supply the basic necessities for their families. The Sulad missionaries share in this simple lifestyle. Sulads give one year of their lives to teach. Missionaries live simply, often without any modern conveniences or even basic supplies. Life in the mountains is sometimes lonely, and the missionaries are allowed to go to Mountain View College once per quarter to share their testimonies of how God is blessing them in their exciting mountain ministries. There are 29 Sulad literacy centers in the mountains. These schools provide four levels of basic literacy for children, but the missionaries also teach adult literacy classes. The Sulad schools are officially recognized by the Philippine government as alternative learning systems. Students can be mainstreamed by passing a placement test. On this day, Pastor Alejandro Perez, Jr., who is the Adventist Mission Director of the South Philippine Union Conference, went to visit the village school in the province of Bukidnan, some 20 kilometers from the capital city of Malebale. This school is serving the people of the Higa Onon tribe. Yeah, we have chosen this project right here because the felt need is people are living right here. Uh, they are very far from the government schools. So right now we have our uh, para teachers who are trained from Mountain View College who are now uh, serving the community. Pastor June Rivera, who is the Sulad's executive director for the South Philippine Union Conference, explains the HEAL method for helping the villages in the mountains. This is designed uh, for giving education, a free education, health, um, agriculture, and livelihood program to the mountain people here in Mindanao. Pastor Rivera explains the reason for the Sulads. Yeah, in 1969, when when the two student missionaries from Mountain View College traversed and, and live here in the mountains, they have observed that these people are the most neglected, that the most uh, rejected by our society, and uh, they're exploited by, by the Logan peoples. And so we, we want them to, to be educated, but we want them to be stable also in the kingdom. This uh, thousand, and countless of people living in the mountains and they just die without knowing Jesus Christ. That is why I and uh, Daryl Pamisaran are obsessed of this kind of work. We are just so happy that these nomads people, these uh, people are worshipping uh, with idols. Now they're worshipping the true God and they're serving the true God and they're serving the community. Daryl Famisaran is the field director of the Sulads. Daryl himself was a Sulad missionary in 1981. Later he became filled with the desire to share God's love in a practical way among those whose society had left behind. Anyone who talks to Brother Daryl will immediately know his love for the people of these mountains. He is filled with stories of miracles of how God works every day to show his great love to the people in these villages. The Ranquilio Literacy Center was established seven years ago. One of the Sulad missionaries was traversing the mountains and came across a tribe that was worshipping on the Sabbath. They were the people were Sabbath keepers, but they were worshipping idols. We came on a Sabbath, and sure enough, they were worshipping. But we talked with the chief why they have idols inside his church. And he said, he is worshipping the spirit gods in the woods. But how come you're worshipping on a Sabbath? He told us of the story that he heard a voice 
from a stone talking, telling him that the real day of worship is the Sabbath. We had a nice talk with the chief, and there, little by little, our Sulas missionaries introduced the scriptures to them, and the Bible truth about the Sabbath, and little by little, they understood. Some 90% are receiving Bible studies from our Sulas missionaries, and they will soon be baptized. The children love to sing and pray. They love learning from the teachers who have left everything behind to give an education to the children. It is not only an education that they give them, it is the hope of eternity placed in their hearts. When the children finish the four levels of basic education, they can enter into the Sulad's comprehensive high school for the Lumads. This school has been built in the mountains to provide high quality education for those who want to study. The school staff put their hearts into their work. The campus is beautifully landscaped and is powered by its own hydroelectric water wheel generator. There are 236 students and more than 20 faculty at the high school. If you visit the campus of the high school early in the morning, you will hear the songs of worship as the students gather to sing, study, and pray. The campus has a cafeteria, library, and biology laboratory. The students raise their own food and are active in the landscaping around the campus. The students here do not plan to stop studying after finishing at the Sulads High School. They plan to go on to college. After I finish my high school, I want to go to college um, nursing. I want to take secondary education, major in English. I want to take um, accountancy. Some plan to come back to the mountains and serve their own people to become missionary teachers to unreached people groups in the hills. Uh, my plan is, when I finish my studies, I will surely come back here and I want to teach some of my co-lomads. I want to finish my studies and I want to help my co-sulads someday or somehow. One of the goals of the Sulads is to help the people of the mountains become healthy, literate, and self-sufficient. The most important purpose is to help the people of the hills to shine with the love of God. Some years ago, the chief of the village, Mikulod, led his people to come and settle on land belonging to Mountain View College. And I asked the chief, why are you here? This is in this is land. They said, this is the land of our forefathers. We need education for our children. We need to squat this land because this has been ours. But I told him, what if we give you teachers and stay in your village? He said, is that for free? Yes, for free. He said, that's the best. As a result, the conflict was resolved and the people stayed in their home village. Since then, there were two missionaries sent, and the people were glad to have their children learning from the Sulad teachers. It's a good thing to serve the Lord, walking in the light of God. At that time, the people were animists. They offered pigs or chickens to the spirits in tribal rituals. They loved to dance, and they used to have tribal wars. The very chief who used to dance together with the witch doctor is now the elder of this church. When the village decided to build a church, it was built high up on the hillside. When it rains, the people have a hard time walking up the hill. It is because it's slippery that they make their meetings down. One Friday evening, while they were having meetings down there, some other people down below noticed that the church here is shining. You cannot just believe it. The next time around, on a Vespers night, well, they were having their meeting down there. The Sulad's missionary looked up this way and lo and behold, it was shining. Some others also around these mountains who were looking this way 
during Vespers, they saw it was shining. The people of the village say that the angels must be meeting there and worshiping on Sabbath. All around the hills of Mindanao, people are learning about Jesus. Global Mission and the South Philippine Union Conference are partners in telling the world among the unreached people groups in the Philippines. Thank you for your support for Global Mission.